Namaste, welcome. David Lurie here on behalf of Eckhart Yoga. And I'm happy to give you musicians out there who like to sing mantras. And those of you who are just starting to play guitar and are interested to sing mantras, just a very quick little tutorial on a melody for a mantra to Saraswati. This is a, a pretty easy progression to learn on the guitar for beginning guitar players and Obviously, as you go along the advancement level, you'll find new ways to play it and different variations on it. There are four chords in this song. G, and you'll use both of the fingers on the bottom of the G. I'm not sure what the technical name is for it, but instead of just having the bottom string, you'll have both of the bottom strings, a very full sounding G. And then just take the first two fingers, the pointer finger and the middle finger, and drop them down one string. So it's from the G and to like a C9, I call this. It's a fairly easy transition. After those first two fingers have dropped down, the third note is what I call the cheater F. I think it's an F9, diminished sharp something or other. I'm not such a musical theory guy. But it's just the cheater F is with your pointer finger on the second string, on the second fret. Your ring finger, one fret forward, one string up, and your third finger, one fret forward, one fret up. It sounds like this. You can see how it's kind of like a little bit of an F sounding chord. And then we go to one that I do know, it's called A minor. The A minor with your pointer finger that didn't move, and you just need to change the ring finger and the middle finger both to the second fret. G, C9, cheater F, A minor, G, C9, F, A minor, G, C9, F, A minor. What I'm doing with the right hand is just an arpeggio, picking the bass line and kind of walking the fingers on the higher strings. You can find any variation that works. You can even strum. Once you have this progression, it stays the same, and we add the words. Om Aim Saraswataye Namaha Om Aim Saraswataye Namaha Om Aim Saraswataye Namaha Om Aim Saraswataye Namaha So as you can see, it's a fairly easy melody line to follow. And this mantra is one that supports us in being creative in our endeavors. So if you're new to playing mantras, singing to Saraswati is a very powerful thing to do because she supports us in our creative ideas of the arts and the music and the sciences. I just recorded a video with the Eckhart Yoga that you can find on the official Eckhart Yoga site. And 
because we had a group of people singing for that one, I used the capo on the second fret just to make it a little more accessible to a few other people's vocal ranges. So if you happen to be an Eckhart subscriber and you want to play along with us while we are singing the mantra, we do it for about 10 minutes. It's a really beautiful chant. Then you'll have your capo and put it on the second fret. Um, otherwise, you can also find the song. I recorded it on a CD of mine called Gypsy Tears, and that's available on my website, and you can find it on my Bandcamp page also, David Lurie, and just look for Om, I'm Saraswataye Namaha. Please sing this mantra freely. It's a melody that arrived to me in Rio de Janeiro, must be six or seven years ago, and has been shared around the world. And the more that you can sing it and share it out in the world, the more Saraswati's goddess energy will reign upon us. Happy singing. Vaya con Deus. Mm -hmm.